He'll give you a ding, ding, ding. And even in the early morn, you'll hear him blowing his horn. Cowboys galloping fit to bust. That's the sound effects man. Four more redskins fight the dust. That's the sound effects man. He has such an awful lot to do, and yet he very seldom ever misses a cue. He's a three-alarm fire and a fire chief, too. That's the sound effects man. When the wind is howling. That's the sound effects man. Thunder goes a growling. That's the sound effects man. When the battle is raging, he's right in the middle of the fray. When he blows his whistle, crime doesn't pay. Then he's old Maxwell chugging right along. That's the sound effects man. When Kate Kaiser got the answer all wrong. Students, that's the sound effects man. Hear those footsteps. Make a lot of muddy tracks. Dirty boots will never hurt the kitchen floor if it's covered with Johnson's wax. How about car new boy? That's better. Smiling Jack in his aeroplane. That's the sound effects man. When McGee breaks a window pane. That's the sound effects man. He has gadgets by the score. From a peanut whistle to a cannon's roar. When Fibber runs to open that closet door. Look out! While Monty Pitt picks up the pieces, Elliot Daniel and the orchestra bring us something a little more soothing. Three great melodies from the Maurice Chevalier picture, Be Mine Tonight. They are Mimi, Lover, and Isn't It Romantic. Not necessarily in that order.
Thank you, Elliot Daniels. And now, each week at this point, Ken Darby and the King's Men bring us a song which has earned for itself through the years a place in musical Americana. Yes, our nomination tonight is a piece of typical American folk music. The sort of thing our pioneers sang with their banjo on their knee and their rifle right handy. It's called Blue Tail Fly. Oh, when I was young, I used to wait on Master and give him his plate and pass the pitcher when he got dry and brush away the blue tail fly. Jimmy Crack Corner don't care. Jimmy Crack Corner don't care. Jimmy Crack Corner don't care. Master's gone away. Oh, and when he'd ride in the afternoon, night a follow with a hickory broom, the pony being rather shy. When bitten by the blue tail fly, Jimmy Crack Corner don't care, Jimmy Crack Corner don't care, Jimmy Crack Corner don't care, master's gone away. Oh, one day he rode around the farm, the flies so numerous, they did swarm. One fly bit him on the thigh. Shame upon the blue tail fly, Jimmy Crack Corn, I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corner don't care, Master's gone away. That pony he rotted, he jumped, and he pitched, and he tumbled. My master right into a ditch, and he fell. Oh, on account of the blue tail fly, they laid him under a salmon. His epitaph is there to see. Neath this stone I'm forced to lie. The victim of that blue tail <coughs> fly. Jimmy Crack on the donkey. forgotten what poet said, beauty is its own excuse for being. Anyway, important as it is, beauty is not the only reason for waxing your floors with Johnson's Paste Wax. Because floors coated with Johnson's Paste Wax are not only beautified, they're also protected and easier to clean. A hard coat of Johnson's Paste Wax protects wood surfaces from scuffing and marring. And dirt and dust stay on the surface. They can be whisked off at the touch of a soft cloth or dust mop. So to keep your floors shining bright longer, to make them easier to clean, ask at your dealers tomorrow for the wax American women have known and relied on for three generations. Johnson's Paste Wax. And remember, there's an easy new way to polish your waxed floors. Ask your dealer about Johnson's new Beauty Floor Electric Polisher. It's wonderful to use. The big whirling brush does all the buffing for you. All you do is guide the polisher across the floor. You can buy a Beauty Floor Electric Polisher from your Johnson dealer... Or rent one at low cost if you prefer. Thank you, Harlow. Well, King Robert, it's about time for you to get in here and give again. Well, the king has a problem, Kenneth. I got a request here from my mother, and when a Crosby boy gets a request from Kate Harrigan, that's an order. Mm-hmm. It's, it's about Brother Bing. Is that boy in trouble again? Well, he's had a bad, bad year this year, Brother has. Everything all fouled up. His horses aren't doing so well. The pirates are in the cellar. That's a pity. His records are going slow. He's all crippled up this week. How's that? Well, he dropped his wallet on his foot. <laughs> My heart is bleeding. Bleeding, it says here. Bleeding. 
So, Mother, Kate Harrigan called up today and asked me would I try to get in a plug for one of his records. Kind of pushing a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's called Wedding Day. Could we sing it? Well, if we can't, we sure wasted a lot of rehearsal time. (laughs) Here comes King Bob Crosby, the King's Men, Elliot Daniel, and the orchestra with Wedding Day. Got a pig, got a cow, got a horse and buggy now And soon I will be driving down the old highway Got a farm, got a plow, got a heart for working now Tomorrow morning is my wedding day There'll be friends throwing rice, there'll be applejack on ice And everybody dancing while the fiddles play I asked her, Pa, if we couldn't wed. And he said, Ha, ha, my son, you must be set in a head. Cause the man who wins her pretty little hand, he will surely have to own a battle of farm and land. So he went out west with shovel and pick, and he worked and worked, and then pretty quick he struck it. Rich and bought him a farm with a cute little house and a big red barn. Got a pig and a house and a cow and a spouse and a horse in Missouri and I'm in a hurry to go. Be driving down the old highway, got a farm and a plow and a cap and a sow and a ring for a wing so much we linger today. Tomorrow morning is my wedding day. There'll be friends throwing rice, there'll be applejack on ice, and everybody dancing while the fiddles play. Come along to the hall, you're invited one and all. Tomorrow morning is my wedding day. Tomorrow is my wedding day. For a final word. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to express our sincere thanks to Bob Crosby for his appearance as our king for tonight. Well, I loved it, Ken, and thanks for asking me. I Th- needed the money. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> thanks also to the other king's men, Bud Lynn, John Dodson, and Rad Robinson, and to Elliot Daniel and the orchestra. And our special thanks to all of you for listening. Before you pull the switch, Ken, what will you have for the folks next week? Well, the king's men are rehearsing Cindy. Elliot Daniel and the band will bring us uh, Cat and a Fiddle, I think it is. And our guest king next week will be a queen, a top favorite of records and radio, and star of her own program, Miss Joe Stafford. This is Ken Darby, hoping you'll be with us again next week. Good night. This is Harlow Wilcox, speaking for the makers of Johnson's Wax, for home, industry, and agriculture, wishing you good night in the shining future. Rub it on, wipe it off. Yes, that's all you do. It's that easy with Johnson's Carno, because one application of Carno cleans and polishes your car. First, Carno cleans the finish, cuts through traffic tarnish and road film that water can't touch. Second, Carno polishes the finish, makes the whole body sparkle like new. Tomorrow, ask for Johnson's Wax Fortified Carno at your nearest dealer or service station. Cleaning a car can be hard work, but Carnu saves you a lot of that work while giving your car a Sunday shine. Remember, rub it on. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs>